Hey guys, how you doing? It's your boy Steven Storm once again and uh, welcome to my channel. This is Eclipse Records and this is your boy Steven Storm. So today we just want to talk about uh, resolutions. How are your 2020 resolutions going on? Are you still chasing them? Have you forgotten about them? Have you given up? Or you just want to like think about 2021 already and forget about uh, all about 2020. So here with me I got my diary and this is where I write my resolutions. So when the year started, we started off in a rough. I remember when uh, my best friend lost uh, his mom and it was so painful to us. This is my best friend. We've been friends for so long, and uh, our, our family and 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 his family. We've been friends, so it was painful for uh, for me personally and at large, uh, also my family. So it started off for us in a rough uh, 2020, and before we know it, we didn't know what was already uh, what we already uh, was going to face in the days to come. And that is about COVID-19. So uh, COVID-19 came and uh, until date, we are still having some difficulty here and there. So many people have lost their jobs. So many people are facing it hard. You know, just putting up food on the table has been something so difficult to do uh, right now. Uh, I thank God for uh, some of uh, people out there that have volunteered just to, you know, raise up some cash and uh, and feed a family that right now they're messed up and also just uh, for the people that have lost their job it's very important to support somebody at this time because it is at this time that you know you know who's really on your team and who's not because uh, you want to know friends and and some of the friends that we have are not actually our friends they're just people that want to hang around us and because of what we have they want to have a piece of that so, uh, but a true friend uh, is someone that will always want to help you when you're in need because that is when you most uh, know uh, the, your friends. So, I know it hasn't been hard for all of us and it's just been difficult and so many things have happened here and there. School has been closed, churches, mosques have been closed everywhere. So every kind of gathering is like has come to a stop. And uh, some of us that make our incomes through gathering, like uh, let's say maybe uh, you're throwing up some gigs, some show, if you're a musician and stuff like that. We've lost uh, those opportunity right now. And those are the reasons why right now we don't have uh, money in our pocket. So I don't know how it has been for you, but I speak for myself as a filmmaker, uh, of course, Corona has interfered with my uh, uh, business. You find that people are now prioritizing, you know, just to put food on the table instead of taking that uh, budget to uh, doing a video or something like that. If already some corporate uh, organizations uh, have already like uh, fired so many of the employees because of COVID-19, then would you really expect them to do a video for advertisement at this particular time it's hard i guess for for, for maybe people uh for maybe online stores i'm not sure if 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 that much it has affected them but anyway i know this thing have affected so many of us uh one way or the other so filming i guess when everything started it has been a challenge by itself and so far i think i've only done i don't know two to three uh, projects of some client that even so they didn't have a, a great budget i would say but because this is something that we do out of passion and because we love it we just want to continue with it so um let, let me get down to resolutions earlier i've placed my resolution i was so excited about 2020 as so many people so many of you were but we just didn't know about whatever was going to take place 
ahead of us so it was it was like uh, just like a curtain and you're told to open the curtain and you don't know what's behind the curtain so it it bombarded us so many of us I, I saw so many people post their resolutions in facebook in youtube i saw them post their resolutions and i was wondering even why they would just put their resolution out there and some of them would give feedback like you know it's good when people know your resolution so that you feel challenged to achieve them so that you already know that people know about resolutions so it gives you that pressure because some of us actually do things under pressure and it works out for them but some of us fear in the sense like oh if i put my resolution out there and fail to achieve it i'll be a laughing stock so not everyone will just go and put their resolution out there because for the sake of you know self esteem issues and stuff like that but in here i i wrote my resolutions my 2020 resolutions and uh, i haven't achieved them one of them is is was to grow my youtube channel it is still it is still i still want to grow up my youtube channel and for that sake if you're watching the video please hit the subscribe button subscribe to my youtube channel and give me a like anyway let's move on uh having to grow my youtube channel was something that i was excited about and i really wanted to go and just you know tell people to subscribe to my youtube channel i thought it would be that easy sometimes you know i thought i had so many friends that uh, probably would just give me a thumbs up you know and press that subscribe button but and i don't know like i i had a target that i was supposed to reach by the end of the year i still believe i can reach that target and uh, i'm still working at it i'm still really working at it and i just want to get serious with it i accept the fact that sometimes i've fallen short in terms of you know releasing releasing content weekly and some months have passed without me releasing content i think the last content i released happened to be i think a month or two months ago so i believe i'm supposed to always keep on uh giving you guys content out there and just to keep my channel active if you want to gain subscribers let's say even you're starting from scratch and uh, you want to reach your first 100 subscribers make sure your youtube channel is active that is one thing to put into consideration very important so you always want to just thrive towards a goal that will uh or you are comfortable enough to achieve it and even if you feel like giving yourself a challenge well and good go for that so that has been one of my resolution and i'm still uh aspire to achieve it i really want to get down into you know just growing my channel so that it reaches a point where i have a great audience a great community that i can speak to that that i can share uh my um my 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 teachings about filming even my 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 life and for that case i'm thinking also of doing some vlogs you know just a, just about my life how i carry out myself across the day uh, the the kind of job that i do apart from you know filming and 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 being a producer so these are some of the areas that i want to venture in that will also in in return help me uh, grow my channel and gain uh, a large mass of audience Thank <laughs> you.